Hi guys, how you doing? I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. And one of the things that I wanted to show you in this video is um, embroidering men ties, okay? I had a customer that came and, you know, she usually um, always brings me stuff for me to embroider and stuff. And um, one of the things that she did was she wanted to get some ties for some of you know, um, for, I think this is for her bosses and, uh, she wanted to have their name embroidered on them. So this is the first one that I did. And as you can see, it came out really nice. I really like the way it came out and it's a man's tie. So, um, I do have another tie that I need to do. Um, this one is in blue and she wants it embroidered in white with the name Scott on it. So I figured I will film how I do the second one so you guys can see how I did it, okay? So um, I'm gonna show you how to hoop this on the multi-needle and also how would you do this if you had a single needle, okay? So I am going to move over to the cutting table so that we can talk about hooping this item. Okay, here we are at the cutting table. All right, so I'm gonna talk to you about two ways of hooping this, okay? If you have a single needle and how you're gonna do it on a multi-needle, okay? Or the equipment that I use also to do it on a multi-needle, all right? Now, this is the one that I did. And as you can see, I put the name on the very end of the um, of the, the tie, all right? Now, let's talk about the tie first, okay? Now, as you can see, you know, um, Right here on this tie, I'm gonna put down the name Scott, okay? I'm gonna have it going across at the bottom of it. Now, let's turn this over and let's take a look at what we got when we're looking at this tie, all right? As you can see, some of these ties have this small opening right over here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna embroider in here. Now, I actually like to embroider with a lot of room. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to undo the stitch that's right here. And I'm going to move this a little closer because I know it's a little hard to see because of the color. But right here, okay, right here, there is a little stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my steam rip, my steam ripper, my seam ripper, and I'm going to remove this stitch right here so that way I can open this up a little more. And it makes it a little easier for me to hoop and to maneuver, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna, you know, and the thing is you're gonna sew this back together. You do it by hand. But I'm just going to remove this right here very carefully so that way you're not messing up the actual tie. And I know the, the lighting is a little bad where I'm at. So let me just move this on the side here. That way I can make sure I have that actual stitch that I need. There you go, got it. And as you can see now, I can open it a little more and a little more easier, okay? Because that's what I want. I want that easy access, okay? And I can just um, open it a little more too. Because you can sew this back on. It's not a big deal, okay? See how, see how easy it is? Now I can actually go all the way up. This makes things a lot easier when you're going to do embroidery and stuff. Now, let's talk about the single needle first, okay? Now, one of the things that I recommend when you are doing the, um, the ties is to use sticky stabilizer. And the reason why I say that is because you don't want the fabric to be shifting all over the place. And also remember, this already has a lining on it. So you want to make it as secure as possible. So that way you just get a nice, straight, even stitch, just like I did here, okay? Because as you can see right here, there was a little lining and you still see a little bulk, but I'm, I, think it's, I think it's fine. I'll just iron it down and flatten it out and it'll be fine, okay? But um, just wanted to show you that. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you how I would hoop this on a single needle machine. Now, on a, the SC1900, you have your, your normal five by, five by seven hoop. What I would do is I would take sticky stabilizer, okay? And I would hoop the sticky stabilizer inside of here. And then what'll happen is I will take this Okay, and I don't want to take her her thing off, but I would take this, I would open it up, and then what I would do is I would just lay it down flat, flush down, okay? 
I would just go, let's make believe I have the sticky stabilizer in here. And then you just take it and then you just lay it on here flat. And then what you would do is you would take it over to your embroidery machine and you would make sure that it is in the spot that you want it to be. And then you would go ahead and you would embroider. Now, an easy way to do this on a single fam, uh, single family, single needle machine is if you have in brilliance, one of the things that you can do is you can print out the template. And if you print out the template, you can actually place the template where you want it to stitch on the actual tie tape it on there, then make sure that you align it correctly with your machine, making sure that the, the needle hits that center point of the template. Once you know that it is good on the center point, then you would remove your template and then you could go ahead and you can in border. So it's just something that really simple to do and it's, it's a really great tip. So Printing out the um, templates is really something good, especially to do, especially if you are really uncertain about where you are placing your item. I'm pretty good at eyeing things and knowing where things are going to go. So I usually skip that step unless it's something that's really super complicated and I want to make sure that it is precise. But I do know where it's going to go. So I'm going to leave that alone and I'll be fine. Now, what I do for the multi-needle machines, I love my fast frames for these type of projects, okay? This is the, um, the frame that I'm going to use, and I believe, I don't remember the size of this, and I, if I remember correctly, let's take a look at it. I think it's a three by, three by four and a half, okay? Um, what I usually do is I'm going to take some stabilizer, just like now, and I'm going to cut a piece out, and this is the uh, the sticky stabilizer. Okay, and then um, I think I cut it a little bit too short, but that's okay. I know that the name is going to go across here, so I can always just do it this way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the top, I'm going to turn this around, and I am going Okay hey guys, before we go over to the machine, what I wanted to do was I wanted to print out the template to show you guys what I am talking about when I'm I talk, you know, when I'm saying go in in brilliance and you print out the the embroidery file. When you do file print, when you have the embroidery file on your screen, you will get two sheets of paper. The second sheet of paper, what it does is it gives you the information about the file, okay? Um, as you can see by looking at it, it has two different colors, okay? I'm going to do it all in one color, so I'm not going to worry about that. But if you look at the information about the file, it actually tells you how many stitches are going to be stitched out. It's two colors, and it also tells you the, um, the size of the actual file, okay? And then on the first file that actually prints out, I wanted to show you up front, okay? What I would do is I would cut this out. And if you can see really closely here, it has kind of like a plus sign in the middle, Right here is your center point. So that, what I would do is I would cut this out. I would go ahead and I would tape it onto my, my tie right here. And then when I um, align my, my tie on the single needle, I would make sure that the, the, line, the, the needle is right at the center point of the, of the design. That way you know that you have it exactly where you want it to be. So I just wanted to show you real quick because I know that I was talking about it, but sometimes a visual actually helps. So um, I'm gonna head over now to the uh, machine so that I can show you how I'm going to stitch this out. Okay, I am going to put my frame on here. Now, one of the things that I noticed right away is because this is heavy, this is actually pulling on the fabric and it's kind of like making it go down a little bit and I don't want that. So what I am going to do is I am going to actually hold it down a little bit, but I'm going to get some little clips and stuff because I really want this to be held in place, okay? So because I don't want it, or what I could do is I can actually hold this that way it doesn't pull, okay? Because I don't want, the, want it to pull the fabric, but I do want it to hold in place so one of the things that I'm going to do 
is I'm going to get little clips and I'm going to try to put these clips on here on the side to see if it, it helps to give it a little strength so that way it can just stay intact. Um, sometimes these things really do help. That way you have it right where you want it. Okay. You know, I gotta tell you, and the preparation for embroidery, it really is a lot of work. It really is. You really gotta know what you're doing and you really have to have patience and all that kind of stuff. And it really does take, because if you do not take your time doing this part, you're just gonna mess up, honestly. You really are, because you really want to do a good job in, um, in embroidering your products and stuff, but you have to take the time. Now, I also have this, and I want to see if this will work. So, I'm just going to give this a shot and see. Um, these are like little clips. Yep, and it does. It works. Okay. Oh, and these actually work really well in holding it together. So, I'm going to use this. These are little paper clips and stuff. You know, you'd be surprised some of the things that you can, <laughs> that you have at home that you can actually use. Um... There you go, look at that, and it's holding it in place so nicely. I actually like this better than doing it with the actual clips that I have, because these clips are kind of bulky and stuff. This is just a little, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? It's called pay, pay, pays, rape, rapers, I, I don't know. It's, uh, what is this? Oh, super clips, the original super clips. And I gotta tell you, they are super because look at the way they held it, held it really nice in place. I don't even have to do anything anymore. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do that before on the other one, but this is cool. This is really cool. Um, holds it really nice in place and stuff. I don't even need to put any more, too. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this sticker, okay? Um, and I am going to delete this. Because the name that's going to go on this one is Scott. And I'm going to pull that up. Let's see. Okay, Scott's going to have to come up here somewhere. Mm. All right, here is Scott. And it's really small. It's small. I got to rotate it. Got to make turn it around because you want it upside down because it's the bottom of it. So, and I'm going to hit okay. Um, I am going to actually try to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, it's all going to be one color. It's going to be white. All right. I'm going to end that and I'm going to do a trace. I'm going to see a trace, see how it goes. Good. Okay, but I do want to it to go a little closer to here, down here to the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. And I'm going to trace it again. And that's perfect. Um, I'll move it up just a little tiny bit. And now what I'm going to do is... Change the threads. I already changed the thread. It's on thread number one. And then now I am going to embroider this baby. And here we go.
all finished. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to move the camera a little bit back. And I'm going to remove this so that we can take a look at it. And look, it came out really, really nice. Look at how nice. That looks really, really nice. Okay, but we're not finished yet. Now that, remember, I have put this tie apart. So now I have to put it back together, okay? So let's go over, let's go over to the cutting table, okay? And I'm going to show you uh, what we got going on. All right, so, just, I don't think you guys can see. Let me move this camera a little bit here. There we go. Now you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna move, move these clips. Be real careful. I don't wanna stress the uh, fabric or anything. And there we go. Let me move it real quick. There we go. Awesome, got one. And just move it real quick. There's the other. Awesome, got it out, okay. Now I just have to Take it off the stabilizer. Move this up. Came out cute. She's gonna like it. This was a really good idea. Didn't think about that. These make cute Christmas gifts. They really do. I think they're really gonna like them. Okay, so now. Got this on the side. All right, so now remember, I went and I undid the inside of this. So this is real easy. All you have to do now is take a needle and thread, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna close and sew all these up, okay? And then what you do is just, I'm just gonna sew a portion here and sew a portion here, and I'm finished, okay? So I am going to take a needle and some thread, all right, and I'm gonna use the same kind of thread, same color, and I'm gonna thread my needle here and tie a knot real quick here. Um, okay, got this right here. And I'm not a very good sewer, all right? So for those that are like super experienced in sewing and stuff like that, okay, I know this probably, probably like, oh my God, what's she doing? Well, look, you know what? It, it, it did what it was supposed to do, okay? You know, I, I closed the, the spot, okay? So here what I want to do is I, I want to hide it, right? So what I'll do is I will... I will pick a spot in here to just thread my needle, okay? Take that, put that in there. See, and I got a knot. And then what I'll do is I'll just pick a spot, you know, against it on the top. a little spot there you go and see how it'll just come together and then I'll just like sew a little knot that way I think Mello's mad at me because I'm not playing with him and stuff I gotta work okay so there we go so I have a little knot there okay so after I have that knot, then what I'll do is I will just cut this up. Okay, the thread, not the tie. Okay, and that's it. Now I will tie another knot on this, and I will do the same thing a little lower. Okay, just to close that spot. So that way the tie doesn't like fly open. Okay, because remember there was a spot right here. And then what I'll do is I'll just... Take a spot here, tie it, same thing, and then I go here, and then I just make sure that I, ha I take a spot that's like right against it. There you go. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot. 
Do it that way. You know, um, it stays shut. Let's do something simple. There we go. Do that knot. And there you go, stayed shut. And I'll just do another knot just to make sure that it kind of like stays. There we go. There. Okay. Nice and neat. And then I will cut this thread. And I am done. Put my needle away where it's supposed to be. Um, okay. And then I'm done, guys. Here you go. You have a personalized, oh, was I sewing and you guys didn't see? All right, so let me just show you guys in case you didn't see it. All right, so here it is. This is the tie, fully um, embroidered, okay, cute, came out cute. All I did was take the back and those spots that I opened up, okay, just hand stitch them. Oh, my shirt's dirty. Just hand stitch them close, okay, and then you're good to go. And then here you go. Now you have a personalized man's tie. So I hope you guys like this video, guys. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys for on Friday for our next live. And um, happy, in I mean, embroidery happy hour. Fridays at 8 o'clock Standard Eastern Time. So enjoy. Makes great gifts. Enjoy making these. These are fun. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.